1017 FM, 710 Keel. Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty, since you have such a long-term relationship with this young lady, would you do the introduction and tell us about uh, why Miss Belinda is here from the YWCA? Wait, I just did it. Dr. Belinda Robertson is uh, the executive I director of the YWCA. Doctor, congratulations. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> And you are, you have some good news with regard to the LEAD program. First, tell folks what the LEAD program is. Well, thank you both for having me out today. The LEAD program stands for Leadership, Empowerment, and Development, and it is our at-risk teen program for girls. And we go into the schools and we teach them um, about things like leadership, including self-respect, self-control, self-efficacy. We teach them about advocacy, bullying, human trafficking pre prevention. We teach them skills to help them build resiliency. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, as soon as you started talking, I had a couple of questions. Sure. And my first one is, how do you define at risk? What is at risk? These are the young adults that do not have the advantages that um, the young adults growing up in, let's say, median households. Um, where they may not have the resources that some of the other kids have that are growing up in higher income households. Um, and then and, you said the, something, go ahead, I'm sorry. And the good news you have, you just got news about a grant to help fund the program, right? Yes, we got fantastic news from the Peyton Manning, uh, it's, it's actually the Payback Foundation. It was founded by Peyton and his wife, Ashley, back in 1999, and they have for the last 20 years, given away $14 million in grants to organizations here in Louisiana, Colorado, Indiana, and Tennessee to help um, support organizations that uh, educate at-risk youth. And so you've been, you're one of the fun, it's the first time you've gone to them for help, correct? It is, and uh, so I'm excited. That really is good news. 